speaking. I can't even see. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's good? What's good, y'all? This your man, Sid Wines, and I'm with Shea Speaks Life, Javi the Pilot, and we are on Piff Radio. We have a special guest in the building or the virtual building or whatever building. I don't know, you know, the space, the internet space, right? You know what I'm saying? So we want to welcome okay. Frame God to Piff Radio. What's good, love? How you doing? How are you? Thank you guys for having me. I'm That's well. I'm alive. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's good. Welcome, so, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So let, let's Where are you guys at? You guys are in North Carolina, right? Is everyone over there? No. Uh me and, me and Shay is in Atlanta. Piff is right. in North North Carolina. And we um, oh. I gotta come to North Carolina in, uh, and I have to come to Atlanta. I have to come to both places, hopefully before February. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what's up. Yeah, and Javi is in um Augusta, Augusta, I think. Augusta. In Georgia. Also, all three of us, we in Georgia. The right South. in GA. We're in the, the South. South. The, the South. The no. South. Not, not the yes. South. Not the South. The South. South the F. Yeah, with, with the F. F. South. The South. Because I know in the North, y'all say, yo, son. Right? B. Don't also. <laughs> 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 they be saying know. that sometimes. They be like, man, yo, yo, son, what's good? What's popping? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what's good? What's popping? Where you from? Brooklyn. Ah, got gotcha. you. The last time I was in Atlanta, um, this guy was talking. I swear to God, I didn't know what the hell he said. He was like, yeah, man, I was trying to tell him. But no, he was really talking like that. I was like, what? What? But no, God damn, what's up? What's up? Shout out, God damn. Shout out. It sounded shower. like how I'm hug rap, but he was talking. You got gotcha. you. Oh, man. All right. So let, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. So, yes. all right. So where did the name of your company come from? So yes. when I officially launched 2019, I made my baby up in 2016 after I graduated, like two years after I graduated high school. Um, the original name was supposed to be 1976 Mod after my mom's birthday. But then I was like, no, right? So one day I was just sitting down. I'm like, I was imagining my store on Fifth Ave. And I was like, it sounds mm. like an address. Like I had like mad names. It sounds like an address. So I'm like, my name is Kadeli and my mom's name is Cherise. So I was like, Kalichi. Like it just went and it just stuck. And then my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. there's everybody just was like, yeah, it's just simple, straightforward. When you see any name, it's bold. Any designer is just there. It's not too much. And it's something you can remember. It's easy, right? Six letters. Nice, nice. I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your name because you know I'm I mess up names. It's I, Kadeli. I Co say what? Kadeli. Kadeli. I said that. See, I was right. I, I looked yes. at it. I was like, uh. He, he'll mess it up. He'll he totally. We, <laughs> it's phonetic. It <laughs> gotcha. So how how long you been in uh how long you been in business? Uh well, I officially launched 2019. I have my LLC, my LLC since 2017. My domain since 20. So I already knew before I told anybody the name, that's what it was. So I definitely want to like recommend that to people when you know. It's something, and you have that there. So I had my LLC since 2017. So um, it's in the middle of being trademarked now. Oh, wow. So mm. I officially launched what 19, so almost three years. One, gotcha. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, you got to trademark that bitch. Got to get all the paperwork right, get everything right before you even start out. But you know, so the, the great thing is that you jumped out there and and went on ahead and did it. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people they be struggling, you know, trying to find their way. And they're like, man, just go ahead and you know do it, but do it right. Jump out there and do it right. You know what I'm saying? So that brings me to the next question is, so what inspired you to start your own business? Like, well, you know, you don't want to start my business, but what what energy, what was that energy? What inspired you to start that, start your business? Well, I've been negative 10 since like four. Okay, so, wait, what is negative 10? Yeah, because, okay, so. Negative 10. Okay. 2020 is perfect, right? Okay. Okay. Damn. So I'm negative 10. <laughs> wait, not the Damn. Damn. Wait, let me get my glad. Right, right, right. So, like, I'm true to this, right? So, um, options of laser eye surgery is something that I would want to do in the future. But as of right now, I mean, I've always had glasses. I've always had fly glasses. People always have asked me, are those bifocals my whole life, right? I've been bullied. But that's always been my thing. Like, I've always had that, that, that quick, fresh mouth. So, I've always been chubby. So, when people try to say their little shit, I'll talk my shit. Like, but they fly though, right? So, people would say the bifocal thing, and it used to kill me because, like, mm -hmm. people don't even know what the fuck bifocals mean. Like, a lot of people, especially, I don't know if in the black community in general, like, that was a thing. Like, bifocals, like, bifocals are Medicaid 
glasses, but no specialty, no novelty. Like my glasses have to be, for me to like them, they have to be thin and they're not the thinnest. They have to be AR, meaning anti-reflective because then they will look like Coke bottles. It's like a really, it's like a lot that come with it. You know what I mean? So right, I've right. The, every frame I've ever had is just like, I've had the Dolce Gabbana since I was four. I've had the Gucci. I have six gazelle. Oh, wow. Like I have everything lined up, mm. but I haven't worn nobody else glasses in the last two years. And I've been wearing mine and I try to, my prescription is expensive. So almost 250. So okay. that's 250 each frame, just the prescription. Now, when I was paying for Gucci and everything else, you know, it was way more. Right. So this is really me. So I want people to have that comfortability and being confident and secure with their glasses. And I, I know, like, I know the feeling, I know what it's like to feel, you know, like bullied pretty much. Right. Um, mm. So it's pretty much been like my shit. And then thankfully this is the person I am. I always kind of been in the in crowd and never been popular, but I always, people always kind of gravitated towards me. Right. Um, like I said, so I have what? One, two, three. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five. I have about five or six with my prescription in now. I have one in the eye doctor. Literally, I try, I'm trying to like have this so there's so much that I want with different outfits, but it's expensive. So, like this, let me show you guys. This is my like newest collection, the box. And I just okay. with each box, I just like I get happy. Ah, nice. Dope, dope. So dope. Yes. So dope. Just the casing, the, yes. the velour. Can you see it, guys? Okay. So I try to do it. This is like going to be my Sweet. main like packaging right now. But before this, I, I like to kind of do collections. So like my last collection was like velour with the, I forgot, it was like blueberry velour. Then it was leather. And I'm just like, back to what I was saying, like my mom used to be like, you can wear your other glasses. Like designers wear the glasses, but she, she's my mom. She loves me. She supports me, but she doesn't get it. Like mm. I could, I'm not on Chanel. I'm not on Tom Ford's level yet. And so I, I feel like I am, but I still have to prove it. So what I look like being frame God and somebody's like, yo, them shits is fly. Are you on your site? No, these is, these is Gucci, but I got the shits. Like, you know what I mean? It's not, right, right. not gonna, right. that makes sense. That's how I look at it. So I'm my, I'm my own walking billboard. I have to be. Got to see now, now, right? So now, with all the other companies out there, right? I don't know much about glad, you know, you know. I'm guess. blind too. I don't. I need to go to the eye doctor, girl. Right. I, don't, I ain't been in a while. Um, but I got stigmatism in both of them eyes. I have stigmatism. I have, and I've always heard my like my whole life. I have nice eyes. I have brown eyes, and I love them. But I, I really do want that. Like, if that was any surgery I would get, people are getting all these surgeries. That is the one surgery I would get. But then I'm, I actually went. I was supposed to do some like city job, and mm. it pissed me off. I went. My mom was like, "Go, whatever." I went. I literally cried. I was there from five in the morning. Like it was some NYPD, like not a cop, but something else. I was like there. I was like, all right, it's good pay. I could put towards my business, whatever. There from five a.m. Whatever. It got to four p.m. So I was there since five a.m. 4 p.m. and we had to you have to be able to see they pretty much said like you have to be able to see something if the glasses fall off so i read into the thing i'm not like maybe i was just emotional or hormonal hmm. i okay. looked in the thing because it's like a herring thing you do whatever you know the senses is good the other senses so i'm like <laughs> yeah so i looked in the thing and i'm like going like this and i'm like putting it in and i just i could not fucking read like whatever it said it was like it was like really 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 tiny and i was like trying to say it and they were like pretty much you can't pass it was like take the glasses off don't wear them for two days like a day before you wow. come you want me to be like i didn't get it i'm just like but how do you expect you to read that small yeah piece, and then if i could go get the lasik eye surgery just like that i mean if i had read like that i wouldn't be trying to work for you guys like right right it, just, right. it, it made me really sad i was really mad at my mom i had no reason to be mad at my oh, mom i was really pissed off i was like look you made me go here look they don't want me i'm supposed to be a boss right. like i don't know don't, don't be mad don't be mad at mom dukes man she she love you she's just trying she's just trying to look best out interest. you know what i'm saying so hey, now mom. oh sorry no go ahead no so now i want to ask a second question you know what i'm saying now what 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 sets your fashion what sets your, your fashion apart because there's a lot of I, you know, eyeglass companies, you know, shades, all, all that. So you talk about the Gucci, you talk right. about the, you know. The okay, so right. 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 I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to think on a legal level. Like, can I mention these people? Uh -oh. You see Burger King mentioned McDonald's all the time, but yeah, okay, so pretty much. 
So my first manufacturer, I'm like, when I was first looking, I'm like, I didn't tell anybody. It's like I told my mom and stuff, but at the same time, so what I was gonna say. It's hard to say, but you guys should know, and I'll get into it. I kind of like to give backstories. It's like nobody's gonna see the vision God gave you, right? Not your mom, not your dad, not whatever. And they're there. So they're those those are your backbones. Like they're gonna be there if you fall, if you win, whatever, but they're not going to see it. Like, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, right. I, I've come to like the, like even the black people don't support or being upset. Cause I'm like, my shit is so dope. Like literally I saw the, a Dior commercial the other day. It was fucking whack as fuck. And for them to be a billion dollar corporation, like it was, it just had no like rawness to it. You right. See, you see Virgil designs for Louis off-white. You see Dapper is under Gucci now. You see Gucci just yeah. signed a Haitian. I'm saying this because if I do pop or whatever, I'm pretty sure we don't know, maybe this interview, whatever, but I'm sure if things get a hold, one, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these companies did reach out for me to be under them, whether the pay is great or not. They'd rather have a black person working for them. You know what I mean? Instead, Instead of, of being yeah. a competition. So yeah. it's like, what separates my Gucci, Fendi, all of those Italian ones you could think of, they're all under one umbrella, which is Luxottica. Luxottica makes all of them. And I was trying to get from Luxottica. I was showing them my designs and whatever, whatever. They they deal with billion dollar corporations. Like they're not going to talk small like quantities, like whatever. So that was out, right? Right. So I'm like, okay. Um, I was just hitting up different Italian manufacturers. I had to call like set my T-Mobile, pay the extra fee. I'm like calling, I'm up at five in the morning cause it's one, you know, like 10 PM, 10 AM there. I'm like, yeah, I want to do this, whatever. I was showing them shit that I drew. That was just dope. I still, I still probably have them. I didn't get time to have them out. And I remember them telling me like, pretty much like your stuff is too futuristic. And I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, you're wow. the leader in eyewear, right? Wow. So then I ended up going to the Asians and I had a few, Hmm. Dope ones, which was, and it's funny because Balenciaga right now is is based in um, China now. They were Italian, maybe now they're made in China. And it's not about being fake; it's real. It's just there. A lot of Asians wear this stuff. You see the Chanel, whatever. A lot of Asians are working there. Mm -hmm. So, on a com competition level of what they can give. It's like, you look at it, like nobody wants something that's always oh, made in China. You want it because it's fucking made in Italy, right? Yeah. But at the same time, they're on the same level in terms of whatever. Sometimes, very some, there's no Gucci or Louis right now. Maybe Hermes is doing it, but I doubt it. They're not stitching it one by one. They have mass manufacturing. How would they? And I say only Hermes because I think it takes, what, 12 years or something, or a year, four years for you to get on the thing. But they're lacking uniqueness like mm. everything is its own when i see something i can kind of already see like it gives me a look of gucci like if it, if it looks like their colors that's something right. that I look for too if it looks like the colors or their shape whatever but at the same time remember i told you they're all under luxotica mm -hmm. so they're all under one umbrella but they all have their own look so i like kazelle had the the look where the the bridge was like you know kind of shaped like this they all have yeah. their identifiers tom ford has the t on the sides so you right. have that mm -hmm. but then i went back to italy because i'm like i want to have this honestly one day i would love to have like a manufacturer base in some part of africa and kind of do that but we'll yeah, see there, there is affluent yeah part. that'd be dope, that'd but be dope. It's just the yeah the shipping but i went back to italy in a way and this may sound to me it makes sense but and it sucks but in a kind of in a way to gain credibility to mm -hmm. be able to have that effect of this is why, even though my material is acetate, which is a high quality plastic, which is in most frames, mm -hmm. so these you can't fill them, but they're very heavy. Mm. My prescription is negative 10, like I said, and I think negative nine and one eye. I can't have flimsy eyewear. Me personally, I can't have a, 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 a Cartier type of frame for my prescription because um, my, my doctor won't do it. It won't look pleasing. It would be very thick. It just wouldn't go. But my shit is dope. You don't see nothing like my, my my brand. You don't see nothing that's out there. I am the person that wears the most oddball stuff, but that doesn't mean I have I don't have bold, sophisticated looks. Right. I have, I have like I'll have a lot of things that people tell me, like, oh, I wish I don't have that face. I don't have this. I'm like, how do you know? Like you're just saying that, or you're too scared, which I respect. I don't want to force anybody, but be outside the box because you know how many people I know will take off 
excuse me, take off their glasses to be blind, to look sexy or look cool, will walk around yep. with yeah. tape on their glasses, will have the cheap glasses and take a <laughs> walk for the club or wear contacts because they're talking about me. Of it. I've had people in the club, guys, sometimes come up to me talking about, yo, how much you want for the frames off your face? I swear to God, man, drop. Don't ask me that though, because you're not going to give me what I'm going to say. But, oh, yeah. but, 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 dudes love, but dudes like girls with glasses. No, but what I'm saying is if you're willing to pay money to take them off my th- you know what I'm trying to say? So right. I see what like, okay, I see what you're saying. It's just taking it to a new level. And if I had the fun, then I will get it one mm-hmm. day and I'm working towards it. But if I just have that to just have this big umbrella to be a fashion house, it would be so much. There's going to be so much more that I'm going to give. But I just that's what I was trying to say. I'm so I'm not into the being like woe is me and being sad anymore about people not supporting, right? Because if I can be honest, I've had frames on my site from like 180 to five. Five is like the most expensive, right? And it's for mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's like this is it's like plated in gold. It's the heaviest, whatever. And at the end of the day, honestly, in terms of all business people and just entrepreneur mindsets, it doesn't really matter your pricing, right? In a way, you don't want to fucking feel like you're getting over on people but right right for the product whatever price you have somebody will pay right it just has that's to true. be that's very true i have to work my way up and i used to tell my I, I go over my prices with my mom my mom's my manager and i'm just like oh wow oh, okay oh, wow that's, that's, okay okay yeah but at this she's my manager and she believes in me but i still have to make her believe if that makes sense. i still have to do it and even the people that fuck with me and love with me you know who's my favorite this day, I, I have a book <laughs> and I wrote like 300 things to God or what I want. And you're supposed to aim big. You're not supposed to write small things. Oh, God, right. you make this rent this month because doesn't he always? You know, help me pay this car note, doesn't he always? Right. So I really, really, I heard somebody say it the other day, they said it was corny, but I really, really love Steve Harvey. Um, The last month I got over like a lot and his stuff is really motivational. Okay. But there's things that he says that I like. I'm so for it, and I hope to be on the show one day. Hopefully, he sees this. And <laughs> but um, I'm just like, there's things that a lot of people say in the past, and we could probably get to that after. Just a little different of their mindset, how they think, in terms of like, like quit your job and just go after go it, for jump, it. Right, 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 right. But I mean, talk, I don't thank God. I don't pay rent. I have a car, I pay bills, I help my mom, whatever, if I can. And she believes in me. I'm in school, I'm in medical school. But if I oh, nice. just said, mom, I'm quitting. I don't want to go to the school no more. Whatever, I can't do this. I need the money for the car note, though. I need the money for this. Like, <laughs> it wouldn't be, I don't, I get what they're saying. But at the same time, when you say things like that, that means that you got to be working. If you're going to quit a job, and you're not going to do nothing. You have, you got to be putting in like 24, 23 to 20 hours a day on your thing. You got to be creating your videos. You got, but how are you going to do that? But very, so very few people, especially if you don't have something that they want, they're not going to work for free. Sometimes That's I have people that will collaborate. But so when people say stuff like that, I think there was a, a, a interview with Joe Budden. Like how, how are you going to quit? Like how, who am I going to get money from? Like, how am I going to do the stuff that I want to do to make it? Look yep. like how I want to look. Because at the end right. of the day, you ask me what's the difference. I think my shit is doper than a lot of theirs. But it's how I'm branding it. It's how I'm right. giving it. Just like eyelashes. There's a million girls with eyelashes. I don't, you know, they're, like they're corny. Like some people say they're corny, whatever. But people buy them. People are spinning. People are getting them. Mm-hmm. You have to make them appear in a way that makes me want to get them. If they just look cheap and trash, I don't want them. But if they look oh, like luxurious, I want them, you know? Right. right. Gotcha. I want. I want to see what else you got. What other frames you got handy? What else you got? You got some more frames. So I have some away right now, but I have like two unreleased ones. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm. Be, we'll talk in the chat. Like okay. <laughs> I have um okay. like the ones on my page. I have this like wood. I just dropped some wood oak frames for like they're very sexy. They're not really me, but they're more for the men because men are always. What do you have that's unisex? Like, bro, I'm like, bro, this is unisex. They're like, no, but girls are in it. So whatever. Mm-hmm. So I have some for like the everyday corporate. I have some for the club. I have like this dope look. I have these, like they're square wood oak and the frame is actually round. That I actually see like a, like an artist wearing somebody that's, or art or like a, it could be a painter, any type of creative. Gotcha. Because certain people are too scared to wear other ones. Like my, my red frames. These are pretty regular to me, but they're so do- like, 
Right. So now, do you have some frames, some other frames that you can show right now? Show the people. Yeah. Let me give me two seconds. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? You gonna why yeah. you gonna you gonna give me some frames, babe? Because you know yeah, she gonna, she gonna always talk about how blind I am. <clears throat> I ain't talking about how. Yes, you do. You be like, like, damn, baby, you can't see that. And I be like, no. <laughs> Are you serious? That's, that's true. Yeah, I'm like, you can't see that even with the glasses on. You can't see that. Listen, you know it's what I'm funny. She mentioned she's a negative ten. I know some years ago when I had contacts, I was a negative two point seven five, but that was years ago. I don't know what the hell I am now. I'm probably up there with her. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, negative twenty. You know what, so, what I'm saying? <laughs> but gotta I'm find just out. Saying. I'm telling y'all listening to uh, uh, to Piff. Radio, you know what I mean? Let y'all know y'all listen to Piff Radio, so make sure y'all tune in. Tune in every day okay. on Friday. Oh, there she go. What she got? What she got? Let me see. Let's see them frames. I have a lot, so I'm just trying to... I'm going to show, like, the... I'm going to show the dopest one. Okay. You want me to model them on my face? Yeah. All right, so... These are unisex. These are Oliver. These are super sexy to me. To everyone. And they just give that... Like, so okay. I, like I like those. I like those. I like them. My stepdad has these. A lot of people, these sold out like twice. Your stepdad so wear those? Uh, yeah, I, my stepdad really? has these. I like those. They're unisex. They're like over, they're, they give a very sophisticated look, but you could wear them. I could see you wearing them in Buckhead in a club. You 